My name's Alice Rumbold. I'm a professor of perinatal epidemiology and I'm theme leader of Samory Women's and Kids based in South Australia. Babies that are born four to six weeks early, which is known as moderate to late preterm, actually make up the majority of babies that are born early, with more than 20,000 born in Australia every year. These babies have really high nutrient needs after birth, and that's because they often miss out on the critical last few months of pregnancy when there is rapid fetal growth, supported by a, a supply of, of nutrients in the placenta. When they're born, they often have difficulties learning how to feed, and that's because of their immaturity, particularly uh, the ability to coordinate sucking, swallowing, and breathing mechanisms. So often they begin feeding uh, with a tube, uh, being fed very small volumes of milk, with a gradual transition to feeding either at the bottle or uh, breastfeeding. We also know that their mums often have difficulty producing enough breast milk, and that can be related to the illness and stress associated with preterm birth. So we have this scenario where babies have difficulty learning how to feed. Sometimes their mothers have difficulty producing enough milk. And in that scenario, these babies are fed infant formula. Now babies that are fed infant formula and babies that are prem premature that are fed infant formula sometimes have difficulty tolerating formula because it's made from cow's milk. In that instance, um, they are at risk of a condition called feed intolerance, which can, be caused, which can cause vomiting and bloating and can disrupt the, the establishment of breastfeeding, can delay the baby going home and contribute to slow weight gain. So donor human milk, which is uh, human milk donated by another breastfeeding mother that's been heat treated to kill bacteria and viruses, actually is a promising strategy to avoid the use of infant formula, potentially reduce the risk of feed intolerance in these babies and get them home sooner. Hi, I'm Chris Solfaro. I'm the National Milk Operations Manager for the Australian Red Cross Lifeboat and I'm based in Alexandria in New South Wales. My role entails looking after all operational aspects of milk banking across Australia for Lifeblood. We have two processing centres, one in Sydney and one in Brisbane, and a collection and distribution hub in Adelaide. So we are responsible for the recruitment of donors, collecting milk, processing milk and the distribution of our finished product out to the hospitals. Potential donors have to go through quite a comprehensive screening process. We need to make sure that they're eligible to donate their breast milk and that the milk that they're donating is safe for the babies that are going to receive it. So that it is quite a comprehensive process where they have to do an in-depth health and lifestyle questionnaire. We do take blood from them for infectious diseases screening and their milk must be less than 10 weeks old and hard frozen when we collect it and when we process it we test it as well just to make sure it's clear from any bacterial contamination. Currently donor milk is provided to babies that are born very early, so before 32 weeks of pregnancy. And that's because uh, there is really good evidence that use of donor milk instead of infant formula in those tiny babies reduces the risk of a condition called necrotizing enterocolitis, which is a rare but life-threatening gut condition. However, that condition is not very common in babies that are born four to six weeks early. And because of that, there hasn't been much research investigating the potential impacts of donor milk in that population. I'm Laura Klein. I'm the National Milk Research Leader at Australian Red Cross Lifeblood, and I'm based in Alexandria, New South Wales. So as National Milk Research Leader, I lead our internally milk-focused research program. We collaborate with researchers and clinicians across Australia to understand all aspects of milk donation, from what motivates our donors to donate, to what's in the bottles of donated milk that we send to hospitals, to, uh, to collaborations on clinical trials that help us understand how donated breast milk might better help improve outcomes for preterm infants. The GIFT trial is a partnership with Australian Red Cross Lifeblood, who run the National Donor Milk Bank in Australia. And the trial was really trying to understand the potential impacts of giving donor milk instead of infant formula to babies that are born moderate to late preterm, so four to six weeks early. The trial will enrol just over 2,000 babies born four to six weeks early across Australia. And we're really investigating whether donor milk reduces the risk of feeding complications, improves the transition to breastfeeding and helps reduce the length of time these babies need to spend in hospital. So the GIFT trial is going to be investigating whether or not pasteurised donor human milk, um, when used instead of infant formula, can help improve 
outcomes for babies that are born moderate to late preterm or between 32 and 36 weeks gestation. So in 2021, we started a pilot trial for this and we enrolled 200 babies across two hospitals um, and we completed that recruitment in March of this year. The trial will start in January 2024 and run for five years. We'll start initially in sites in South Australia and Brisbane and then move to other states later on in the year.